in celebration of the Royal Mint's record-breaking Rosalind Franklin 50p, which is the very first UK coin to feature a female scientist, I thought I'd do a bit of research into the famous scientist herself and her groundbreaking DNA discovery. So sit back and test your knowledge with these five facts that you need to know about Rosalind Franklin and one of the greatest scientific discoveries of the 20th century. And don't forget, if you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Rosalind Elsie Franklin was born in London in 1920 into a wealthy family and at the age of 15 she decided she wanted to become a scientist and pass the admissions exam for Cambridge University. However, her father objected to women going to college and refused to pay her tuition. But if it wasn't for her aunt and mother who managed to change her father's mind, Rosalind would never have enrolled at Cambridge's all-female Newnham College in 1938 where she studied physical chemistry. However, despite Newnham College having been at Cambridge since 1871, the university refused to accept women as full members until 1948, which was seven years after Franklin earned her degree in chemistry. After graduation and before her DNA discovery, Franklin got a job at the British Coal Utilisation Research Association, otherwise known as the BCURA, where she researched coal and charcoal and how it could be used for more than fuel. Her research formed the basis for her dissertation, which alongside several of her later papers on the microstructures of carbon fibres, played a role in the eventual use of carbon composites in air and spacecraft construction. So in short, her research helped the aerospace industry. Now for DNA. So first and foremost, do you recognize this photo or photograph 51 to be more precise? Well, it is in almost every biology textbook around the world. You see, Rosalind Franklin and her assistant Raymond Gosling made their famous discovery that DNA had a double helix structure when reviewing this very image, which Franklin put in hundreds of hours and exposure and refining to capture. Now, unfortunately, a colleague of Franklin's showed photograph 51, which was her primary evidence for the new understanding of the DNA structure to James Watson. And he went on to publish a paper in Nature with Francis Crick on the structure of DNA using photograph 51 as evidence without any credit to Rosalind Franklin. And it was this paper which won Watson and Crick a Nobel Prize. Whilst in the very same issue of Nature, it was a paper by Franklin and Gosling that provided experimental evidence that supported some of Watson and Crick's purely hypothetical arguments. After DNA, the discoveries really didn't stop. So next up, tobacco viruses. Sadly, the growing sexism and hostility Franklin received from her colleagues at King's College caused her to move to Birkbeck College. And it was here that she distanced herself from DNA and started to work on another fascinating molecule, RNA, which just like DNA, carries genetic information that's vital to life. She used X-ray crystallography a method to look at the shape of very small things like viruses to explore the structure of the tobacco mosaic virus, an RNA virus that infects tobacco plants. And it was this very work which has come to be fundamental to our understanding of viruses and RNA. In 1956, Franklin was diagnosed with ovarian cancer, but nothing could stop her love for science. She published seven scientific papers in 1956 and wanted to publish six more in 1957, all while she was undergoing chemotherapy. Sadly, Franklin succumbed to cancer in April 1958 and passed away at the age of 37, but her legacy continues to this day as her DNA research is viewed as one of the greatest scientific discoveries of the 20th century. Now, whilst Franklin's life may have tragically been cut short, her contributions to our understanding of DNA and viruses really does live on, and this brand new 50p will immortalize her for years to come. 
To find out more about this groundbreaking 50p, just head over to this link on screen now. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell.